Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In today's video, we are discussing a special class of script that is Fix Script. If you want to see this information in Hindi, please go and check the channel ServiceNow Help Text Hindi. It has all such information in Hindi. You see the Fix Script demo video already here. Okay, so let's get started. You will find the Fix Script in uh, System Definition. Let's open it. So these are the Fix Scripts. Let me open one of the record. You see the script here, it is using glide record. So this is nothing but a server side script. But why this script is used? This is the main question. So the very first thing which we should know that the fix script is a script that is used to fix a certain amount of data. And these scripts are not intended to use on daily basis. That's why you do not see any triggering condition here. If you want to run this script, you just have to come here, open the record and click on this button, run fix script manually. Okay. Okay. So now let's go in deep in this. Okay. So I have written a very good article in service Now spectacular. Uh, this one in this article, you can see all the important information about this script. Uh, it's example, it's definition, how to create it. Uh, what is the difference between uh, fixed script and a background script? This is very interesting and a proper explanation of all the basic things about this fixed scripts. Okay, so now let's go to the definition. This is the definition. It says that this uh, script is used to perform one time data fixes. That is data migrations on data upgrades. It means whenever you do upgrades or whenever uh, you do certain kind of uh, bigger migrations, in order to fix the data, you have to use these scripts. As these are the data fixes, you do not need these scripts to run on multiple times, okay? You have to run whenever you need it. So that's why whenever you upgrade, whenever you do some kind of migration, in that case, we use this uh, fix script. So what do you write in the script? So it can be anything based on your organizational, based on your circumstances, you can write any script here. And that script will run on the background and complete the fixes, complete your data. You see the example here. This is basically updating the assignment group of all the incidents. So this is a kind of simple script, but it illustrates how fix script can be used to automate data fixes and updates in service now. You can customize these scripts as per your choice. There are n number of scripts which are there out of the box. You see most of these scripts are out of the box and and ServiceNow will use these scripts whenever a new upgrade is going to happen. Okay. At that time, ServiceNow, if needed, use these scripts to update the data or to uh, do any kind of possible server side stuff. So let me open one of the scripts which I have created. You see this message. So if you make change in any of the out of box script, ServiceNow will discard that and it will use only out of box. Uh, a scripts whenever needed whenever they need it to run okay otherwise you can create your own script run it if you do not run it will not run as simple as that so here I have just used this simple logging let me click on this run script so you see here direct warning warning fix script may add update or delete data including rules and scripts this may also change the property settings back up your data before you proceed so it is explicitly asking you to do all such stuffs and it is also asking or suggesting to run this thing in background or just to proceed as it is okay so whatever you feel you can click on it generally we go with proceed in background because the example which i am showing is very simple but in general there is a huge data set which is being involved so that's why in order to avoid any kind of performance issue we have to run it in background so click on it after you run it you can go and check in the locks whether it runs or not so locks so you see here the script get executed it is running so based on your requirement you can draft your own script okay work on it you have these three fields you must know the meaning of all these three fields and i have very well explained the meaning of all these three options here Come to this blog, you can understand each and everything properly with this article. So I hope you got it now. Thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye.